I'd like to introduce Janet from Georgia, who takes LDM for fibromyalgia. Good morning. Good morning. Could you tell me when you first started to notice your fibromyalgia symptoms? I would say it's probably over four years ago. Beginning to notice it, I'm going to say a good 10 years ago, but being diagnosed was about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And what were you experiencing 10 years ago? Um, I was experiencing severe aches and pains um, in my muscles, a com a extreme fatigue, um, the fibro fog, uh, not being able to concentrate at all, uh, the, the whole feeling like I have the flu all the time symptoms. Well, we've found that people with fibromyalgia are ultra sensitive to all drugs. Was that the same for you? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, every drug that I had taken for fibromyalgia, I had issues with. Mm -hmm. So how did you hear about LDN? I was doing some research for a company I was working with at the time, and it led me to Stanford University, and I had actually um, researched online about the pain center and learned about the younger studies, and uh, really started to investigate those, and I saw how well the results were, and that was my initial introduction to it. And how did you set about getting a prescription? Well, I moved to Georgia last year, and prior to that, I was living in Florida, and it was not an easy task at all. Um, I had asked doctors. I had proven, you know, provided some of the, the tests and the clinical trials, and none of them were really willing to step out of the box to prescribe it. So I was kind of stuck when I was in Florida. However, when I moved to Georgia... I decided to just start all over with the fibromyalgia, and I did stop all of my medications, not recommended to do, but I did. And um, I decided to go to a neurologist that was also a holistic doctor. I, ironically enough, she was already prescribing LDN for her MS patients and had really good results with it. Um, she had never heard of LVN for fibromyalgia, but she was very open to the idea, and she did look at the, the studies um, that were provided and uh, ended up uh, going ahead and prescribing it. Oh, fantastic. So when you first started, did you have any introductory side effects? I did not have any side effects with it at all. I'd probably say the only side effect, which I don't consider a bad side effect, was maybe I had some pretty um, deep dreams, but I kind of liked them, so it's <laughs> not really an issue. Okay. So how long have you been taking it now? It's been approximately eight months now. So how would you compare your quality of life now to what it was before you started? Well, let's put it this way. Before, I don't think I had a quality of life at all. I was I was miserable all the time. Um, you can ask my family members. They'll tell you right off the bat. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working, uh, you know, I'm a type A personality, and my work had dropped from 50 to 60 hours a week to, at best, 20 to 24. Um, so that was devastating, uh, not only for myself, but financially as well. After I started the LDN, it wasn't initially that I felt felt it better, um, but gradually, and once it kicked in, um, I mean, it was fantastic. I've got my life back. I feel great. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that all of my symptoms are completely gone, but I'll certainly say they're manageable, and I'm back to working 52 hours a week and, and loving it, so that it's been a blessing. And did you go back to taking any other medications alongside of LDN? Um, only medications that I'm taking with LDN is a very low dose of um, trazodone at nighttime. Uh, I take that, and I also take, because I have chronic fatigue um, syndrome, I take Nuvagil during the day. But I will tell you one thing about the low-dose naltrexone. I'm finding that I don't take as much Nuvagil as I used to, so I really feel that it's been helping with the chronic fatigue as well. So how would you summarize LDN in your opinion if you were to talk to somebody who is newly diagnosed with fibromyalgia? Oh, I would highly recommend it, and I have. Um, I mean, there is just no no choice about it. I think it's the best thing that exists. Um, and, and I have. There have been several people that have tried. I wouldn't say newly 
um, started with fibromyalgia because they're sort of just learning, although I'd love to have them start off right away. But again, it's the whole mainstream issue with the doctors not really wanting to try that. They want to try all of the other fibromyalgia drugs, I suppose. Um, but people that have had it and have had the sensitivity to the drugs um, that are being prescribed for fibromyalgia, they are right on board with it. So it, it's a definite plus. I wouldn't go any other route. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. Thank you.